Ramen noodles, or two minute noodles as we call them here in Australia, are the staple for most budget conscious people. But how do you make them taste better than just eating them plain on their own? There are so many hack videos online, but which ones actually taste good? Well, today we're about to find out because I'm gonna make a whole bunch of them. Let's see which ramen hacks are the best. Let's start cooking. We've got some hot water. So let's boil up some ramen noodles and let's start adding some ingredients. But which one will I start with first? First one, wasabi and mayo. This one's gotta taste good, right? It's got my two favorite things, wasabi and mayo. Mmm! Oh! Wasabi! Oh. Oh. oh! I love it! Wasabi mayo. Recommended! Number two, pesto. This one's gotta be good, right? I mean pesto. It's my favourite thing in the world. Besides wasabi and mayo. Let's go. Mm. Actually, mm. it was good at first and it sort of went south. Recommendation? Mm. Neutral. Right, this one, I'm adding the seasoning packet. Next hack, pineapple. And we add in a little bit of syrup as well. That'll change the flavour of that broth. Hopefully, for the better. Oh yeah. Mmm. Like <laughs> <laughs> ah. mm. mm. That actually tastes really good. I'm really surprised. Recommend it. Too neutral to half recommended. <laughs> Next hack, peanut butter. This one's supposed to make it taste like pad thai or a satay. I like to think satay. Let's go. Mm. Let's try the soup. Mm. Oh, that really tastes like a pad thai satay. Peanut butter. Recommended. Next hack, fresh ginger. Let's stir this through and let it soak for a minute. Mmm, I can't smell any ginger. And I can barely taste any ginger. Maybe just a little bit. Ginger, recommended. And it's nice and healthy and good if you've got a head cold. Next hack, sriracha and butter. This is supposed to make it really nice and creamy. So, we grab our sachet. Use half the packet. Add in the butter. Sriracha. A little bit of the reserved water. And let's mix this through. Mm. That looks good. Let's top it off with some red chili flakes. Oh, I can't wait for this one. The butter really neutralizes the acids in that sriracha and makes it super creamy. Still got a kick though. Creamy sriracha ramen, recommend it. Next hack, something you've probably got in the back of your cupboard that's been sitting there for six years, creamed corn. For this one, you use half a tin for one packet of ramen. And next, add the seasoning. I'm actually scared to eat this one because cream corn is something I would never usually eat. Let's go. Bits of corn getting stuck in your teeth. Creamy texture yet chunky at the same time. That actually doesn't taste too bad. Half recommendation. Next hack, coconut cream. So first let's add the noodles. And the flavour sachet if you have it and half a tin of the coconut cream. I think it's ready. Mmm, this smells so good. Mmm, oh. it smells like a nice curry. Oh, yeah. I reckon this one will be good. Light and creamy, comforting yet exotic. 
Mm. Oh, that's hot. So creamy and delicious, that tastes really good. Recommended. This next hack sounds absolutely disgusting. What you'll need is some curry flavored noodles and some Milo. Not looking forward to this one, but hey, you never know. In with the noodles and the curry sachet. And one or two tablespoons of Milo. Rest in peace. Now the Milo is supposed to act like a thickening agent. And you're supposed to get a thicker, creamier and sweeter curried flavour soup. I don't know if I want a thicker, sweeter and creamier curried flavoured soup. Ooh, smells like I just walked past an Indian restaurant. The things I do for my subscribers. Why mummy, why? <laughs> I just don't want to. Don't want to. I... No, no. No. <laughs> Please, no. Why? 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 Why does such a thing have to exist? <laughs> Here we go. That actually doesn't taste too bad. You can't even taste the Milo in there. What it does is just bring down the heat from the curry, adds a little bit of a different flavor to it. It doesn't even taste chocolatey. I don't understand it. How is this even possible? Curry noodles and Milo, recommend it if you're crazy. In saying that, it's really not that bad. I was expecting something rancid and disgusting and horrible. I was proven wrong. By the hack. I wonder who the first person was that thought of combining those two things together. <laughs> well, I know who the person was that thought of the next two ingredients for the next ramen hack, and that was me. And for the final hack, I'm Aussieing it right up. We're using beetroot and cheese. Now, I'm combining these two ingredients because it's one of my favourite sandwiches of all time, beetroot and cheese. I've got a video on it, actually, so... <laughs> I made it years ago. So let's start. Let's cook the noodles. We'll add the sachet. We'll drain the water out. Most of the water, you can leave some in there if you want. Back onto the stove. Let's add the cheese. Add two slices if you're feeling crazy. And as much beetroot as your little heart desires. Mix it until the cheese is melted. All this would need is some koala sauce and some kangaroo meat and away you go. Mm. That cheese is all melted through, it's nice and creamy. Little bits of beetroot in there really combine well with the cheese. It always does. Tastes like a swagman camping by a billabong. Beetroot and cheese hack? Recommended. <laughs> sort of. Well that's the ramen hacks test. Which one will you be making? Are there any others I didn't make? Let me know what your favourite hack is down below. Click hello, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. Ooh yeah, this is